So yeah, I guess um, this is it. Today is my final day officially staying in Shears Hall. And I'll be moving out today from the place I called home for three of the past four years that I've been in NUS. Man, it's been quite the journey, you know. From the freshman me that stayed in year one, who directly told my block kid that I wasn't going to stay past the first semester or the first year, to actually wanting to stay in year two and having some of the best times of my life in NUS, to then coming back in year four, where this place has really been such a safe haven and safe space for me to stay in throughout the past academic year. And although I am definitely past the whole life already. <laughs> but I guess the thing that I will really really miss is calling this small space I have a home and having a place to go back to to feel safe every time. But you know what? This space was always temporary so it was inevitable for me to move out anyway. And it has also given me a concrete goal to work towards and that is to have a space to myself in the future. And whilst I'm sad that I'm going to be losing this space I am pretty motivated to be able to earn enough to get my own place in the future. So that's that. But enough about that. Today is move out day and I'm just gonna be filming that whole process. It is around noon time right now. And you know what that means? It is lunch time. It's pasta time. <laughs> Let's cook aglio olio and pasta for the final time in Cheers Hall. Dago pasta. Let's go. <laughs> I guess it's also time for me to take these down. So these are actually polaroids of people that have come to visit me over the past academic year. So at the start of the academic year, I told you guys that I had this visitor notebook for people that have paid me a visit in my room in Cheers Hall. I think it's time to bring this practice back. Safe to say, it's been updated quite a bit since that video. Speaking of which, I also have my friend Chao Sien who's also moving out today and I stayed on the same floor as him for my whole Shears Hall life. And he hasn't actually written in this book before because he keeps putting it off. I'm gonna go ask him to write it now. It's Chao Sien. So you're gonna write inside it now? Sure, <laughs> now it's time. You can be the final entry in this Thank book you. for Shears Hall. So while he's cleaning his fridge and writing inside the notebook, I'm gonna go head down to level one. I want to show you this thing. So for those of you that might be older, you might recognize this from a video that went viral. Okay, let's go. Welcome to the Block B Pond. So as you guys can see, this pond is in the shape of a bee. And this pond is pretty much a part of the culture here in my block in Shears Hall. At the start of each semester, we also empty the pond and clean out the algae. And back in the day, we also hold block events near the pond. So I think this was around 2017. There was a lot of hoo-ha about NUS and its raunchy orientation camp. And really, there was quite a lot of backlash on some of the things that were going on in NUS. La. And this pond over here is actually one of the perpetrators of that NUS is all rowdy and whatnot. So there's this video of a student that was being dunked in and out of the pond. And basically what this practice is called, is called ponding. And honestly right, it's a lot more harmless than the public things lah. A student would be suspended over the pond by their four limbs and then we would slowly hold them across this area of the pond and we would squat down and squat up. So essentially we're just dunking him or her inside the pond 
and out. So that's what ponding is. Uh. There was a huge public backlash about it. But if I'm being honest, I actually find that the backlash is way overblown. And I personally think that ponding itself is really harmless. Uh. It, and it's all in good fun. It's a small activity that makes you feel a part of the block inside our culture to do that. Uh. And I'm guessing it's been passed down ever since this hall was built, uh, which was around 1999. This practice has probably been around since our parents were in college. And come on, you guys were students once. Uh, this is just our youthful energy and stupidity that we have as students uh. and I really don't think we should rob them of that stupid fun because I can guarantee that this ponding activity is way less harmful than some of the other things that people would do to release that energy in hall especially but yeah ever since that video surfaced ponding has become illegal uh. and I don't know man times have really changed uh. people are a lot more mindful on pushing others into doing something they don't want to do uh. but ah uh, well it's illegal now <laughs> just a little history lesson for you guys uh, of Block B in Cheers Hall Hmm. Okay, let's read some of these out, eh? <sighs> 11 of September 2021. This is from Amelia. Happy birthday to you. I hope you have a great 32nd birthday in jail that is Shears Hall. In all seriousness, thank you for supporting my YouTube stuff and being a chill bro. When you are a big boy YouTuber, don't forget me from your 200 sub era. <laughs> So for those that do not know, um, Amelia, she's also a student that does YouTube in NUS. She stayed in Shears Hall for one semester before going to NOC Toronto. And she was actually one of my first subs ever on my channel. I still remember her and Sing Wei on my second video ever. And then I clicked into their profiles and I was like, what the hell? They have 700 subscribers? That's a lot of subscribers. And now here we all are and we've grown a lot more since then. So this is from Kim and older viewers of mine would know her as Crackhead Kim. She's the one that walked through a thunder storm with me at Marina Bay. Also the co-host for this Christmas Wonderland video that I did last December. Thanks Dago for being a solid friend and listening to my problem. Can always count on you. This is actually her second entry inside la. The first entry was all the way back in 2019. So Kim was actually my level IC back in year 2. Now she's also in Paris having an exchange. Ned Lane. He's the guy that helps me hold the camera from time to time. Hey Dago, thanks for inviting me to your room. I hope you get your 10k sub soon. Also, your room is pretty good. I hope our content creating journey continues to flourish a lot more. Net Lane. Just gonna give Net Lane a shout out again because he's an amazingly talented photographer and creative. And yeah man, me and him have gone through a lot together. I guess the last entry, I'll read this entry from Chow. I dropped by the 7th floor today after seeing these blue lights from the small phone screen over FaceTime. I said hello to two vaguely familiar faces down your corridor before popping behind your big wooden doors. Some guy from your welfare team handed you this thick, chunky cookie you could eat with the leftover milk you bought. I'm feeling really comfortable in this oversized hoodie. Till next time, Chow. There's actually a lot more entries in here. There's one from Sing Wei and one from Joel as well. A lot of these people that I've visited have graduated already and I probably won't see them anytime soon. <laughs> Until the next semester at least. Yeah. Uh, I guess it's time to close this chapter as well, yeah?